Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com, and in this video I'll be showing you the top 10 best Cydia tweaks for iOS 8 and above. So all the Cydia tweaks I list in this video are in no particular order, and you can find all the Cydia tweaks uh, down below in the description. There will be a link to AppleCritics.com. Simply click that link and you'll be able to see a full detailed uh, description of all the Cydia tweaks that are listed in this video. So the first Cydia tweak is V Color. Now V Color is a very simple Cydia tweak, and as you can see, what it does is just change your uh, volume HUD. Uh, so it just uh, changes the colors and everything. It's not the boring color that it usually is. So you have it in settings here. So if you go into V Color, you have a few options. So you can change the background. Uh, so let's make it yellow instead. Uh, depletion bar, we can make it uh, let's say orange and for volume number we can make it uh, magenta and volume meter we can make it uh, blue so let's see uh, what it will look like so as you can see it's a lot different uh, and you can just change the colors around and that's the main purpose of V color. The next video this week is Tej. Now with Tej, what it basically allows you to do uh, is it allows you to uh, basically uh, customize each little bit of your app switcher. So you can see you have your close app right here or activate switcher. Uh, so you can choose the sensitivity, the screen air, uh, and lock device with the gesture. So say for example if I swipe down from the home screen and lock screen. You can see I just locked it just like that, just by swiping down. That's even on the home screen and lock screen. Just by swiping down like that, it'll lock my device. And with the app switcher, and I can easily say, for example, this app right here, I can just simply swipe down. And I can quit all apps, quit background apps, and quit other apps. Uh, so I'll just say quit all apps. Uh, and then everything is cleared up. So if we take a look here, everything is gone. Uh, so that's basically Tej, it's to do with the app switcher and all the other gestures uh, on your device. The next video tweak is Glowboard. Now Glowboard is just for your notifications on your home. Basically with Glowboard you can see that your apps that have uh, a number on it, it will basically glow and the app will move, it will bounce. Uh, so that's just its way of notifying you if you have any app, app updates so you can see my phone, everything it's just easy uh, to see if you have app updates with it and it's a really nice uh, feature I'm the next video tweak is very simple and it goes by the name of YouTube uh, and it basically allows you to play background audio uh, throughout your device so normally if you're in the YouTube app uh, and you are uh, listening to music and then you close out of the YouTube app the music will pause uh, and there's no way to play it on your lock screen or on your home screen. Uh, so YouTube uh, basically uh, eliminates this problem. So once you go into YouTube, we can just search for example, started from the bottom uh, and we can start it. Then as you can see, you can go to the home screen, still playing. And on the lock screen, it's still playing. And you can see the thumbnail of the video and everything. Uh, so it basically allows you to play it on your lock screen and on your home screen. Uh, and it's a very simple city of tweak. The next tweak in this video is power tap. So with power tap, you can just hold uh, down on your uh, sleep wake button and just uh, hold on it as if you're going to turn off your device. Then if you click on this button right here, uh, you can change it to slide to reboot slide to respring, slide for safe mode, uh, and slide to power off just like so. Uh, so you just have all those features uh, and if I want to reboot I could just slide like that and then it would be done. It's just a very simple yet useful city tweak if you download a lot of city tweaks and you have to respring or reboot a lot. The next city tweak is iApp Lock and it does what the name suggests. So if you go into iApp Lock, basically it'll allow you to lock your apps with a passcode. Uh, so you can choose, say for example, a calculator, uh, and I can save it, and then I can protect it with a passcode. Uh, so say one, two, three, four, and then you have to re-enter the passcode. Uh, and if we try and go into the calculator right here, you can see it will pop up and require a passcode. Uh, so I could just say one, two, three, four. 
and it's in just like that. It's a very simple Cydia app, uh, but it's really useful if you want to lock your apps. Uh, and it comes in hand if you give your phone uh, to people or you just want to have it locked uh, and have a exclusivity to it. And not only can you enter a passcode, you can also use Touch ID. Cydia Tweak in this video is Untethered Hey Siri. So if you go into Settings, then into General, and then you go into Siri. Now iOS 8 has the feature of saying Hey Siri while you're charging and it'll open up Siri, but with this you can have it untethered so you don't have to have it plugged in or anything like that. Uh, so you can just uh, say Hey Siri and then it'll say uh, Hey Siri and it'll work. Basically that's what you can do uh, with untethered Hey Siri. Next in this video is Hidden Settings 8. Uh, so if you go into your control center, uh, you can see that you have this little tab right here called Springboard Settings. And with Springboard Settings, it'll give you some more uh, hidden uh, settings for iOS 8. So you can have parallax, you can have uh, basically a panoramic uh, wallpaper uh, on your home screen, uh, folders, icon animations, control center, you can change the shortcuts, you can change uh, every little feature you can change with this CarPlay, App Switcher. There's a lot of features you can do with Hidden Settings 8 uh, and it's a very useful uh, city of tweak and it just blends in very well. Uh, and you can how many uh, elements of your device you can theme. It's just a very verbose city of tweak and, and this is basically what it allows you to do. The next video tweak is CC Background. Now once you go into CC Background, basically what it'll allow you to do is you can enable it, then you can select an image for your control center. So as you can see there's no image for my control center, but I can select an image. And once you select an image, basically what you can do is just... And now if you look at your control center, you can see that you have a uh, background photo right here. Uh, it's really nice and really simple. Uh, and this might not be the best photo, but you do have a control center background with CC background. The last Cydia Tweak in this video is Virtual Home. Now this Cydia Tweak is specifically for any device that has Touch ID. Now basically with Virtual Home, uh, you can basically get more longevity out of your home button. Normally you would have to click it a lot, uh, and just with Virtual Home it takes the pressure off of it, and it kind of uses the Touch ID. So with Virtual Home, I can simply go to the next page and then just tap and it'll take me back to my home screen. Uh, so it's a really nice city of tweak uh, and it just gives you more longevity. So thanks for watching this video on the top 10 city of tweaks of iOS 8 and above. Please be sure to subscribe like this. Please be sure to smash that like button down below so I know you watched. Also check out my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash applecritics. Please be sure to check out applecritics.com for latest Apple news reviews and more. And Thanks for watching.